This is a demonstration of some of the problems I've had with the HMG YI 3D gimbal from Banggood.com. This is a very nice looking gimbal for the Xiaomi Yi camera. You can see here everything looks streamlined. Fits the camera perfectly. But mine has some problems, and I'm not sure if this is a problem with the entire product line or if I've just received one with a bad driver board. My first problem was that three of the screws that mount these brackets were missing, but that's fine. I had several spares of these thumb screws for a Walkera 350, and I just pulled those out and they fit perfectly. I just had to trim the length of the screw a little bit. My second problem with this is that it's almost entirely plastic, even though the description states that it's CNC aluminum. It's quality plastic, there's not a lot of seams on it, and, and it seems to be put together very well. It's just that for the price, I expected something that was made of aluminum, because the description said that it was aluminum. You can see here on my camera, I've got a power wire coming out. This is wired directly into the battery tray. I built an adapter that fits inside. The reason I did this is because external power plugged into the USB isn't always consistent. I was having a lot of problem with video being interrupted and I also had issues when the battery wouldn't fully charge from this power and when the battery's dead the external power didn't seem to work. This red battery pack is the pack that I'm powering it with. It's a 3 cell 18650 pack and it powers it for, I'm not exactly sure how long, but I've had it running for a couple of hours straight with no issues. Um, this tiny battery here is just to give power to the flight controller and the receiver. I'm not going to try to fly this thing on a 1500 milliamp battery. These are my hookups. I've currently got the, you can see the power there. I've got the pitch control hooked up. It's this green wire and it's in my auxiliary two, which is controlled over here. And it currently isn't working, which is the state about nine out of 10 times. It works all the time with my Walkera gimbal and my tarot gimbal. Both of those work absolutely beautifully. And you can see that the mode switch is connected. It also works about one in every 10 times. When you keep resetting this, it'll eventually make a connection. And this mode switch does allow you to switch between, in my case, because I've got it on the gear switch, two different modes. If I put it on the mix switch, I would be able to get three modes out of it. But two modes is probably all I would ever use. And I've got that connected through a servo extension, and that's going into my gear output. And the reason I'm using a servo extension is because sometimes I swap this out for the uh, Walkera iLook Plus, and it has a shutter control, which is Velcroed right there. And I'll just swap that out with the mode switch, and I'll pop it out of this servo extension and that allows me to control the shutter on the iLook Plus. In attempting to solve the problem with the receiver outputs not being recognized, I found some instructions on Banggood's site in the comments stating the program to use and the profile to use. Well this is the program and it works great you can see it detects the movement. It allows you to change the settings. And it's a pretty nice program. Uh, took a little bit getting used to. This is the first time I've ever tried to program a gimbal. But here's the problem. The profile that Banggood provides doesn't work for me. 
This is it here. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, but this is the profile they provide to download. The issue for me was the inverted yaw axis. I'm not sure why it's inverted here. Watch what happens when I click right. It's resetting itself. I assume this is the gyro and accelerometer calibration. And watch the fun when it finishes calibrating. Here we go. This is because the yaw has been inverted and I'm guessing that uh, controller board just can't figure out which direction it should point. Now it's done this for quite a bit and I'm assuming that we really do have full 360 degree rotation with no limits because I haven't seen or heard anything snap. Over here it knows what's going on it just doesn't know how to stop it. Well you can stop it uncheck the invert and I'm going to write and watch what happens. It instantly stops. That seems like a pretty serious problem. Another problem I've got is that no matter how hard I try, I can never line up the yaw position perfectly. It always likes to turn to one side. You can see I've got no trim settings over here. But it seems to be trimmed, and it trims one direction or the other. Watch when I reset. I can unplug the power. I've just reset the power. I'm going to hold it the direction I want it to be, and now it's starting to shake. Look at that. What's it doing? I don't even know. While it's shaking away, I'll go ahead and hit the reset switch. Settle down, I'll turn it, get it in the right position. And there we go. You notice it started straight, it's starting to drift just a little bit. Still no pitch control. I'm going to reset this a few times and see if I can get that pitch control working. You can see now it's uh, acting a little odd. The camera looped itself around. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. But it reacted to the mode switch. And it'll do this sometimes. I can switch it up and down. You'll see it every now and then. It just reacted again. And sometimes it'll go to the position that my auxiliary 2 dial is in. Let's keep switching this. Sometimes it gets a signal. Well, it doesn't look like it's quite ready to receive the signal yet. But if we go over here to RC settings, you can see there the command assignment button. Keep flipping, see if we get any kind of a signal. No, nothing yet. I'm going to try some more power sign. And there it goes again. It responded to the mode switch and it's pointing down now. 
you see it's still not responding to my auxiliary dial. Turns out my power wire is what's stopping it from continuing its trip. Let me bend that out of the way and see how far we go. This is a new one for me. It, it hasn't uh, spun around this much. Hitting on anything? No? It's a surprise every time I turn it on. Let me help it out here. I don't know where it wants to go. But it certainly doesn't want I'm to I'm going to try to reset it and see if I can align it properly. Set reset button. Put it in the proper orientation. And there we go. And look at that. It's off by just a couple of degrees. But that's enough to be annoying when you're trying to fly straight and film something straight ahead of you. Try another reset. Line it up straight. And I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's moving very slowly in a counterclockwise direction. But eventually it'll settle off a couple of degrees just like it was before. And in this case, the roll has shifted itself just a little bit as well. But each time it's something different. 